There was always something special about Jess, even before we knew there was something quote-unquote special about Jess. He had this energy that was just kind of angelic, really. He was a real charmer and a happy, happy kid. Like, I don't think a kid could dislike Jess, and I don't think an adult could not love him. He just exuded this love energy. Love me. I am lovable. Until grade two, Jess had lots of friends. He was easy to play with. He was never alone. But Jess's world changed. It was an ordinary day. I was running errands and I drove by the school and it happened to be at recess. And like I always do, I drove extremely slowly and looked for my children always scanning, are they happy, are they there? And I noticed Jess standing against the chain link fence. And he was by himself and my heart broke. And I had to pull over and have a little cry while the ice cream melted in the back of the van. I realized seeing him there, nobody was being mean, nobody was bullying, nobody was cruel, but Jess's world had got smaller and I hadn't noticed and he wasn't able to keep up on the playground. Jess's mom decided to take action. She spoke with the school, and together they decided to assemble all of the grade fours in the gym and ask if they would like to volunteer to play with Jess to help him make friends. The kids got very excited about the notion of teaching, about the notion of including, and it grew from there. They had hoped for six or eight volunteers, but at this first meeting, 43 kids volunteered to play with Jess, two-thirds of all grade fours in the school. They called themselves Club G. It grew over time so that the kids began scheduling themselves. They took more and more ownership of Club G, began scheduling and reminding each other, and then even in the entrance to the school, there was a Club G meets today at recess or Club G at lunchtime today, so it became very much a, a known entity in school. The fact that so many of them wanted to help their classmate absolutely blew me away. So the question through my mind was, why? I think it's two things. I think that the one thing is that, yes, they just, they are an amazing, empathetic group that is an unusual piece to have that many kids together who are like that. But the other piece is Jess. He brings it out in people. We all see the twinkle in Jess's eye. He's a wonderful human being, and they pick up on that. So it's not just the kids being wonderful, it's Jess being wonderful. So it's a two-way street. I think there's an opportunity when you go into public school to really integrate and to really understand the breadth of human experience. And you can't have that unless you have kids like my son, other kids with different paths and journeys. I think that when we don't know what to do, we often become fearful and then out of that fear grows anger and mistreatment. I think when we have strategies and tools to interact with some situation that's different to us, it will calm us, we can stay open, and we can grow from it. So I think that's what's happened with these kids. They've, they've learned a tool that will take them forever. The number one thing for me is teaching virtues. It doesn't matter the curriculum. What is gonna get them through life is their virtues. And these kids are developing those virtues, and Jess is a major part of it. Jess is going to eat half of our icing. I think one of the things that Club G offers these kids is a, is a safe place to take interpersonal risks that they normally wouldn't get exposed to. And it gives me goosebumps to think about what impact that could have on these kids as adults. Oh my goodness, look at this! <laughs> Get on the ball! Get on the ball! 
least get a napkin or something. Oh, well, I already took Just these. do it yourself. I think people are more kind to one another now, um, knowing playing with Jess, and it's made, a, I think, a big difference in a lot of people. I think it makes him feel really proud about himself and um, happy to be who he is. And, and what about you? How does it make you feel? Well, it just makes me feel happy that I'm his friend. Thank you.